Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2015 65 plate Isuzu D-Max 2.5 TD Utah with a Vision Pack It's done 42,000 miles and it's got full service history and it's also got the remaining amount of 5 years or 125,000 miles manufacturer's warranty from Isuzu Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them um, really beneficial to most people because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you're here in person. As I go around the vehicle today I'll show you any marks, any scratches and any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres, we'll look in the back, we'll have a look inside the vehicle, um, look at all the functionality, look at the seats, I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Um, once we've done the inside we'll pop the bonnet, look under there and then finally we'll have a look at the chassis and also the spare wheel. Obviously, if you think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a little bit more detail, please just ask. I'll be happy to redo the video for you, no problem at all, or take pictures. Okay, um, a few things to mention before we continue. Once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see, you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver the vehicle anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, uh, we'll ask for a deposit to cover the VAT. An application takes about five minutes, and in most cases, we can get you a decision within about an hour. And as I say, you can usually drive away the same day. Right, so we'll start with the bonnet. We'll work our way around. I am recording the video in HD, so whatever you're watching it on, obviously make sure it's on the best possible settings for this. It's actually arrived a couple of days ago, uh, and it was valeted, but I've not had a chance to get around to actually doing the video. Um, I don't like to wash them before I do a video, because obviously it gives you a different impression of what it looks like. Um, so it is a bit grubby, unfortunately, because obviously it's been sat, but... Um, I prefer it to look like this than wet and you not get a decent idea of what it looks like. Um, hopefully as you can see from when I'm passing across the, uh, the bonnet there's no dents on it at all. Um, there's no obvious marks or scratches. It's in nice clean condition. There are very few light scratches on here and I, I don't think they're going to show up to be honest with you. I think if you're really bothered they would potentially polish out. You can't feel them on your fingers. No stone chips I can see. A couple of very, oh, there is there. A couple of little light ones. Look. Driver side headlight, clean. No damage, as is the front grille, nice and clean. And the same for the passenger headlights as well. Front bumper. There are a few stone chips here. Very, very light. Nothing serious. Um, just obviously the nature of what they are. A couple of very light scratches on the bumper. Hopefully you can see those. Can't feel them on the fingers. Passenger wing. No obvious damage or dents. Nice and clean condition. Passenger side, front wheel and tyre wheels in great condition. As you can see, there's no damage. It's a Bridgestone tyre and there's a lot of tread on it. Right, so let's work our way down the passenger side. Again, same principle. I'm looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. And hopefully, as you can appreciate from that, it's in really great condition. The paint's nice and clean and there's no dints or marks. Windscreen. There are no cracks, there are no stone chips. There's no damage. Roof. Again, nice and clean. The panel's no damage on it at all. Wing mirror, nice and clean. Rear quarter, as you'll see, there is a canopy on this, colour coded. Um, I like to look at this part here when uh, comparing the paint uh, on the canopy, and as you can see, it's a great match. Right, so rear quarter. Again, it's nice and clean, there is no damage on the actual quarter itself. And there's no obvious dents or marks. Rear wheel and tyre, again, wheels in great condition. Again, it's a Bridgestone tyre. And again, there's loads of tread. Truckman canopy. It's obviously the uh, working edition, so there's no side windows. There's a little bit of crazing on the, 
on the paint there, but it's nice and solid. Obviously, this is just an added bonus. We're just selling the rear of the truck and the canopy comes as part of it. But a good truckman canopy in good order. Let's have a quick look in the back. So it's got good pneumatics. They do hold it up and they do pull it up on their own easily. In the back there is an Isuzu mat. Underneath it's nice and clean. All the plastics look nice in good condition. So it's had no heavy work. Inside's nice and clean and lined with light. Um, it smells nice in back as well, so it's not like it's had uh, anything nasty in it or anything like that. All I can really smell is the rubber off that. Shut that down. Rear door, tailgate, whatever you call it, and lights. So lights are in good condition, there's no damage. Tailgate, from what I can see on there, is really clean, there's no damage. There is a few little light scratches here not serious and i can't actually feel them on my fingers my idea of that is that if you can't feel them on your fingers usually there's a chance that you could polish them out rear bumper as you'll see with these they have got uh, reversing sensors and also um, a camera as well which is here which is a factory fitted item as you can see it's got a tow bar with the later spec uh, electrics these will tow three and a half tonnes, I'm sure you're aware. Driver's side, tail light, rear, obviously in great condition again. So let's go down the driver's side now. And again, it's in great condition, there's no obvious damage or mark. So excuse the noisy plane going overhead. It is low. Very light scratch here. Can't feel that my finger on you. I don't think I can make it show on the screen either. Rear wheel and tyre, driver's side, great condition wheel, matching tyre again, Bridgestone. And again, loads of tread. I would guess that they're actually pretty much new to be fair, but we'll see. If it's a full set, I don't know yet. Right, so we're going to go down the driver's side now. Again, the same principle, I'm looking for any marks, scratches or dints. And again, it's in really clean condition. However, there is a little dint here. Can you see that? It's not massive, but it's, it is there. And there's a small dint here as well. I don't think it's going to show up. You can just see it, I think, but it's tiny. But I'd prefer to be completely honest with people. But yeah, other than that, in great condition. Let's look at the roof this side. Nice and clean, no damage. Right, onto the driver's side wing. Great condition, no damage or dints, no marks or scratches. Front driver's side wheel and tyre, wheels in great condition and it's a matching Bridgestone tyre. And again, loads of tread. So it's a matching set all round of tyres. Right, so onto the inside. Driver's door in great condition. No damage, everything looks nice and clean. Um, obviously the electric windows, window lock and door lock, and that does work. Let's press one lock again. Driver's seat is electric. It does work perfectly. So yeah, everything looks nice and clean on there. The bolsters are very subtle and firm, 
and there's no damage all the materials nice and clean um, it's comfortable to sit in as well right so let me jump in <coughs> um, there are two main keys one a uh, smaller key i don't know what they call it, a service key is it and then there is one key for the canopy as well start it up it is a six speed manual gearbox it jumps into action straight away no problem at all it, it's ticking over really nicely there's no nasty or unwanted noises there's no smoke as you can see um, it, it is as you would want it to be um, as you'll see there's no lights on the dashboard no warning lights at all let's have a quick look at the media center uh, it's a pioneer system a standard with a cd player um and obviously you've got your map and everything else as well nice clear um map for, th for the um white nice clear map for the navigation and that also doubles as your reversing camera as well and as you can see it's nice and clear really good picture um let's have a quick look what else is available on here um radio where's the radio uh, radio there you go can't see for looking so we've got smooth um i don't think it's dab but you've obviously got Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth hands-free, amongst other things as well. Onto the steering wheel, um, we've got multifunction controls on there. This side here is for your on-screen display in front of you, and then to the left is your media center and your phone control. Um, oh, actually, this one actually I think is cruise control. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's control. That's cruise control. Yeah, it is. Let's switch that off. You can see the lights come on here. Right, uh, onto the uh, air conditioning. Um, as you can see, quite a straightforward system, to be honest with you. Um, let's turn the control down, see if the air conditioning works. Turn that up. I can tell you straight away, it does work. It's freezing. Instant as well, not, not waiting for it to get cold. It is cold. Switch off. Um, both seats at the front are heated, you've got high and low, and they do work. Switchable four wheel drive. Um, I think most people will tell you that you can switch it while you're moving, but I think to be honest with you, with a manual gearbox, I think that you're better off stopping um, switching it over by dropping your clutch and then carrying on. Um, passenger seat is in great condition um bolsters and again nice and firm everything looks nice and clean um i can tell you that as an ex-smoker it's definitely not been smoked in um you, you, there's no whiffs in here at all it's nice and clean um dashboard is also very clean there's no damage everything works properly i've seen those sometimes where you press them and they just don't come up so that's nice um hopefully as you can see from that all the cubby holes and things are all working correctly there's a 12 volt socket there um, all the service history and everything is in the glove box um, and it has got full service history v5s here as well um, yeah in the back everything looks nice and clean as well <coughs> spectacle holder roof line is clean everything's as you'd want it to be really switch that off um, there are cup holders in the front as well both sides what else to show you um decent size glove box uh, center arm roll oh, what's the word i can't think of the word <laughs> center arm rest um, yeah it's a decent size uh, down by your right knee you've got your folding mirrors and you can use your mirror control as well um uh, dashboard illumination and then down here is your bonnet catch and your fuel cap Let's pop the bonnet while i'm there so look in the back 
Again, door cards in the rear, very clean, nice condition, no damage. Rear seats are exceptionally clean. If I'm going to be really honest, I don't think they've been sat in. Um, cup holder in the rear for your passengers. Obviously, some people do use these as cars, some people as work trucks. I'll just bring that back, sorry. So, as you can see, all the seats look really nice and clean. It's an armrest. Cool. So, let's have a quick look under the bonnet. So under the bonnet, everything looks tidy. There's no oily residues on anything. There's no signs of any oil leaks. Clearly recent serviced with a new oil filter. Obviously it has got full service history, so that's not surprising. Belts look nice and tidy. What you can see, obviously that's just the auxiliary belt but it looks tidy even the washer fluids topped up cool hopefully you've seen enough in there let's have a quick look underneath So there's no signs of any oil leaks, as you can see. Everything looks nice and tidy underneath. Good chassis on these. And everything looks like it should. Let's have a quick look under the back. So spare tire. Um, again, lots and lots of tread. It's an alloy and it's full size. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person, maybe a bit more. Uh, I'd like to be as thorough as possible. Obviously, if you think I've missed something, if you want to see something else in a little bit more detail, please just ask. I'm more than happy to do it for you. No problem at all. So thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Stay safe. Bye-bye.